I had long, thick, dense, wavy hair. So there was a lot of, okay, well, what will I look like? How will I present to other people? I'm just getting to the point where I'm still learning to recognize myself in the mirror. I found like a little bald patch along like my ponytail line and it wasn't until like six months later that I started noticing receding like part line and I found other patches. I think when I was diagnosed, I was in denial in the sense that I wanted to like carry on like nothing was happening and to just kind of ignore it. But at the end of the day, I was going to the dermatologist every three weeks, getting injections. It was always on my mind. It was really consuming. I was 10 years old and I was uh, taking off makeup after a play, and I thought it was funny. I had no eyebrows. I thought I pulled all my eyebrows out. And then I noticed that I didn't have hair like here, you know, like all around my head. And so my parents brought me to a dermatologist. The first time I ever wore a wig, I was really stressed about it and like clutching to the last few hairs. Mm -hmm. And then I wore a wig and I was like, wow, this feels amazing. I like went to a bar and got like three guys' numbers in one hour. <laughs> it was just like, this is it. I would wake up with lots of hair on my pillow. I put my hand in my head and come out with just like clumps. My beautiful thick curly hair started getting thin. I was like, well, let me find a salon oh to shave it down, you know, because it was just coming out so randomly. And they shaved my hair down to this little fro. And that made me feel awful. Yeah. So I went in the shower, took a razor, shaved it, boo-hoo cried, boo-hoo cried, boo-hoo cried. Got out of the shower, the medicine cabinet's right there. And I'm like, yeah. oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, yes. Oh, hey. <laughs> Who is so, she? Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, Damn, I look good. I found out when I was getting my hair done for prom. She started like going through my hair and I had this like really thick curly hair. And she got to my bald spot and she goes, I just want to let you know, I think you might have alopecia. I was very scared and nervous because I was like, I didn't know anything about it. And then my parents were like, you're going to go get treatment. I felt like I was hiding myself mm -hmm. yeah. because I kept trying to like cover my patches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was all I was thinking about. When I shaved my head, that's when like all my confidence came back. I was riding home on the train. It was a very hot day, and I went to put up my, my hair into a ponytail, and I felt one small patch. I come home, I actually took a couple cell phone photos, and it was a very clear, full, round circle, and I knew immediately what it was. For me, there was a very clear, like, before and after in my emotional, mental state, before I shaved and afterward. Yeah. Because before, I was focusing so much on the actual fallout, the hair mm -hmm. that I would find all over my pillow and all over my bathroom. That was a constant reminder. And just like you said, I was at the salon, we did the shave, I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh, that's me. That I think really transformed my journey into acceptance. It's such a personal journey. It's such yeah. a No one can make the decision of where you should go yeah. with this thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm.